and we shall find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. I'm hungry. Me too. What should we do? I have food. I have food. How can we feed 5,000 people with this little food? I don't know. They are pretty hungry. Let's just ask Jesus. Good idea. Hey kids, what you doing? Oh, uh, we're going to church. Want to come with us? I have a better idea. Why don't you come with me to have some candy since you're so hungry? How, How did you know we were hungry? Hey, no, you're creeping me out. Let's go, guys. Wait. Look, what do you want? Since Jesus forgives sin, why don't you pick up that rock over there and smash the window? We shouldn't trust Jesus like that. And he and others can get hurt. So why would you suggest that? Just like so Whatever. Hey kids, I have money. I'll give it to you if you stop going to church and come with me. No, we'll only do what God wants us to do. Yeah, why won't you let us go to church? We just want to go pray. Yes, God is the most important thing. Let's go. Ugh, why do these brats have to trust in so much in Jesus and God? Like, if I turn it over to my side, it'll be so rewarding. Stop it, Satan! And turning these kids over to your side will not be rewarding in any way. Shame on you. Girl! No, as you would want to be treated, sons. Jesus, my brother Lazarus is very sick. Do not fear, this will not end in death. This was all meant for the glory of God. Thank you. We will return to today in a few days. We will all go and travel to Judea. A few days ago, the people in Judea tried to stone you, and you're going there again? Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, and now we are all going with him. Lord, if he is sleeping, then he'll surely get better. He is dead, but we will go and save him. For that sake, you guys will believe in me. Let's go to it, Walter Jesus. Your brother will rise again. Yes, he'll rise if everyone rises from the last day. Open the tomb. He's a dead before. 
four days. His snakes will be terrible. Not my child. Five more minutes, please. No, we have to go. Then you pack your sunscreen, fishing rod, and hat. Check, check, and check. I'm so excited for the fishing competition. It's our first time we're going to catch so much fish with God's help. Yeah. Ooh, I got something. Ew, a dirty sock. Where are the fish? Why aren't they biting? I don't know. The other teams are catching fish. Why aren't we? I don't think we'll win. We came here for no reason. Here's a joke to cheer us out with. What do you call a fish with lots of money? I don't know. It's called a goldfish. Oh, I didn't know that. Ha! Look at those amateurs. They can't catch any fish. Man and a bell bell. Oh, wait. Shouldn't we go help them? Of course not. We're competing against them. Duh! Why do you keep looking at them? If you just go help them, you'll never see them right again. Third grade, everybody drop your sticks. Run two laps around the red field and the yellow field and come back. Two laps. Go. I'll hunt you down! Hello. Aren't you on the other team? Since we've come to town to stab you or steal our fish, we have this nothing for you to take. No, I've come to help. Sure, the competition comes to help. I mean, be grateful. We've come to help. It really is to be hard to take advantage of them. Tell them to go. Give them a chance. Fine, but if we're sending him away, you're doing it. Deal. So, are you going to help us? Yes. I will help you. Just be patient and the fish will come. How long do we have to wait? Just be patient. Fine! Where are the fish? Wait, I got something. Did you get it? Yes, it's a big fish. Yay. I got more fish. So did I. I really appreciate it. Look in the water. Wow. Thank you, God, for the miracle and sending us someone to help us. Come, be fishes of men. Ha, you sound like Jesus from the Bible. Maybe I am. Spare change, anyone? Money for food? Water? Do you have spare change? Look at us. We have nor gold nor silver. But we have something better. What? What could be better than food and water? Jesus! God can help us. He can even heal us. Please give me your hand. again. They've done it again. You are all under arrest for causing this Whoever chaos. Touched it while they're out, it's but down. they healed. So if you were on orange, this is not out of true. Bounds, this must be planned. It must be blasphemy. Arrest them. Wait, no. Uh. Enough. All of you are going to the dungeon. This must have been planned. It must be blasphemy. I've discussed this with the others, and we've decided to let you go. But, on a warning, if you guys continue preaching about this Jesus of yours, 
and you guys will receive an even greater No! Punishment. We will never stop doing things, even if it means death. We, even if we're closest to death, we will never stop. Well then, get out, and I'll see you in here soon.